Um, everybody probably knows you're, uh, you know, one of the uh, founders of the hunting public. Um, and I guess my, my first question to you was like, how, how did that all come about? I was kind of doing some research on you guys and, and it looks like you posted your first video back in October of 2017. So going on five years ago now, um, I guess what was your guys' goals back then? And, and why did you start, start the hunting public? Our goals back then were not to starve. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we started it with nothing pretty much. I mean, a few thousand bucks that me and Greg had saved to buy some cameras and laptops. And then we just had to work odd jobs and side jobs for like the first year or so, maybe a little more than that before we finally realized we could make some income off of it. But it wasn't till it wasn't till most of the way through the second year of the hunting public that we got to the point where we could actually, you know, make somewhat of a living out of it for a few of us anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of a long story, I guess we, but I won't go, I'll give you the brief version. I've me personally, I've been filming hunt since I was 10, 11 years old. And that's just what I always wanted to do. And I eventually, you know, worked for a bunch of different businesses, part-time in the outdoor industry through high school and college wound up getting an internship at Midwest Whitetail and learned a ton about web video while I was there. And I eventually went to work for Winky at Midwest Whitetail. And I, I worked there for about seven and a half years. Um, and then started the hunting public after my time there. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of a slow progression over time. But if you've watched the show and you know us, I mean, if you've watched the show, you do know us because we were just, you know, I mean, what you see is what you get <laughs> on there. We pretty well show everything. Um, we're all from, I guess you could say we're all your typical average deer hunter or turkey hunter from different parts of the country. And we feel like we have that, you know, that aspect in common amongst our group and even amongst the general public that hunts. We all grew up hunting small tracks of private land or public land um, and just had to find ways to, to get it done and we felt like when we started thp that there wasn't a lot of content out there like that and um you know so we just sort of took the plunge and like i said we took a we took a risk because we weren't making any money at the time and used what little money we had saved up on this project so we didn't have any idea if it was going to work or not i figured i was just going to go back to working on washington dryers like i did through college um but Ended up getting lucky and having it work out, and now here we are. <laughs> it's been a pretty cool uh, ride, you know. Um, watching it from the outside, from the beginning, uh, it's remarkable the way uh, that you've stuck to the mission and uh, really, uh, you know, kept it right. I mean, you see a lot of people start out right, and they end up falling into the sponsor trap and the money trap and and everything. And uh, I think. Uh, you guys are really doing it right. And that's, that's the big thing that's made it different. I'm also really impressed on the way you guys get along. I mean, uh, every group I know, um, you see a lot of fighting and stuff. I think, uh, that's the one thing you just, you got a little lucky with the group you got that you got a really good group of guys together that are all solid dudes, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're right about that. hundred percent. Like, uh, and we don't when it comes to creating content i guess that kind of our mission behind it all is that as long as we're creating something of value for the viewers i don't care who's doing it it's just whoever is involved in the group or whoever we're with and filming at the time as long as something valuable is coming out of it for the viewers uh that's you know that's our mission anyway and yeah we get we get our door knocked on all the time by sponsors, but you got to turn them away because you're, you know, the mission in general was set out to kind of put the viewers first. You know, I've worked with other businesses in the outdoor industry and at, you know, Dan, I mean, a lot of them will put sponsorships first because they're running a business. And, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not knocking them for doing that because they got bills to pay. But when we started this, we're like, we're going to flip that. We're just going to make content that, that is valuable to people that relates to people and let the chips fall where they may, you know, and if we can find a way to make it work, we'll make it work. If, if we can't, then we're still doing what we love to do. So. 
that's kind of how we ended up here, I guess. <laughs>